Many of you guys know Lou. You come out to Turbo Tech and take lessons with Lou. Lou is a gold certified USBC coach. He is one of only a handful of coaches in the entire world to hold that certification. So he knows an awful lot about bowling. He's coached some of the best. So you're definitely in good hands this week. And, and we've also our new guy on the block, although he's not so new because he's been with us um, from the very inception of our company, Bob Learn Jr. A veteran. Bob actually was one of the first three professional players to represent our company on the PBA tour back in those early days, 1990. Um, but now he's here with us permanently as a coach. He's a silver USBC certified coach. He's been with us for about one year now full time and there's several of you out there that have taken lessons with Bob. Um, he will be one of our leading coaches this weekend. I'd also like to take a minute to recognize my other team members that were here. Ms. Lauren Gadula. Every person in this room or parent probably talked to Lauren at some point because she handled all of our registration. So I really have to recognize her for all her hard work and keeping, us, keeping it all organized. I know it was a lot going on, especially coming down the stretch. I also want to rec uh, recognize Joanne Seaslack. Joanne and I actually used to bowl on a, uh, well, Lauren too, we used to bowl on a, uh, a ladies league together, but Joanne's been with us for a while now. She handles all the inside sales and support for the East Coast and the Central Region. Megan Harris is here. Where's Megan? There she is, in the back East Megan. My brother is here, Dave Bernhardt Jr. Where is he at? There he is, Wayne back in, Dave. And my daughter was here helping out registration. Um, again, the TurboTech Legion Expo is truly an historic event. Um, it's bridging academics through sport. That is our tagline. Um, and what better sport is there than bowling? I think everybody in here just loves to bowl. I love to meet all of you, your beaming faces. You're so ready to get out on the lanes and have a good time. I love it. Um, we have over 130 students here from 11 states. 11 states. Wow. And actually, one foreign country. We have two gentlemen, and I want to recognize them right now, from Venezuela. Wow. Where is Kevin Bandolera and Michael Picari? Where are they at? There they are. All the way from Venezuela. So now I, I want to get a big shout out. Where are, my, where are our students from Colorado? Shout out, I want to hear you. Woo! Woo! Right. <laughs> our students from Illinois, I want to shout out. Woo! And New York. New York, where's our students from New York? Right. All right. And what about Maryland? Ohio, Mississippi, Mississippi, what about Virginia, I saw a lot of people from Virginia today, there they are, Iowa, our students from Iowa, all right, what about Pennsylvania, all right, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, but not least, Michigan. <laughs> Michigan, our home state, we take great pride in hosting this tremendous event in our home state, and we hope all the visitors have a great time. The weather's supposed to be beautiful this weekend. I do want to, like, another couple little shout-outs. Where is Alex Garza from St. Charles, Illinois? Alex was the first student to register for the Collegiate Expo. <laughs> Green from Davidson, Michigan. Tyler is the very last student to register. <laughs> so again, you guys, we really appreciate you guys coming out. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. I'm going to turn it over to Bob Learn, who's going to introduce our team of coaches. Thank you, Lori. Uh, you know, I am very, very excited to uh, tell you guys who we have here. I know you've seen it. Uh, um, in some of the paperwork that you've gotten, but we have got not only some of the greatest bowlers in the world, but some of the greatest coaches as well. And so you guys are going to have such a great opportunity this, this weekend to learn so very much. Um, I learned a lot from these guys. Uh, I learned I needed another job. <laughs> <laughs> they were 
really, they are that good. Uh, and um, thank you for the few that do remember me on ESPN <laughs> Classic. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad your grandmother and grandfather watch. <laughs> All right, so we, we have, like I said, some of the greatest coaches, and uh, and they have so much to talk about, I can't even remember, even I know them personally. Uh, this first person has, has a two-time national titles on the women's uh, series. This is the last couple of years, uh, she's won a couple of titles on that series. In 1998, the USBC Alberta Youth Pro Star of Tomorrow, so she was uh, big in the youth. Uh, two-time collegiate All-American at Nebraska. She also was 11-time member of Team USA, 31 international medals, including 2007 Women's World Masters, 2006-2007 World Bowling Writers Female Bowl Player of the Year, elected to the World Bowling Writers Hall of Fame. These aren't just, you know, anybody. Deandra Espady. This next lady was elected to the USBC Hall of Fame along with her husband, Bill. I might have given it away. 20-time uh, PB, PWBA medalist, uh, including the USBC Queens. She got two titles in the PBA Women's Series. She's a two-time Women's Bowler of the Year, the 2000 to 2010 Bowler of the Decade, three-time Collegiate All-American at West Texas State, and she is now the USBC Director of Coaching, Carolyn Doran Ballard. <laughs> this next lady uh, was a 2000 World Amateur of the Year in 2009 as well. 2005 WTBA World Ranking Masters uh, Champion, member of the Wichita State University 2005 Women's Championship team. A uh, five-time Columbia National Team member, 2009 WTBA Women's World Masters All Events uh, Champion, and inducted into the World Bowling Hall of Fame, Calera Guerrero. All right, on to the men. Uh, this next gentleman 